everybody, I'm Cassandra from Craftably Ever After and thank you so much for joining me again for another week of crochet and yarny chats. Alright, let me get straight into what I want to share with you guys this week. I've got a lot of things that's coming up that I hopefully will remember to let you know about uh, towards the end of the video or throughout the video. Um, but the first thing I wanted to share with you guys, as you know, I did Wheel of Fortune last week. And this is where you guys sent me some amazing suggestions for items um, that I should make with that little uh, crochet kit that I purchased from the toy shop uh, with a few different colors of cotton in it. Luckily, it was my favorite weight of cotton and very thin fingering weight. So I enjoyed working with it so much. So I had some amazing suggestions. Now, for some other reason, my very untechnological um, brain and untechnological abilities uh, resulted in some of your guys' suggestions not making it onto my wheel. And I was extremely frustrated with myself for that. So if I left any of your suggestions off, or if you want to add some more suggestions, because I will be continuing with the Wheel of Fortune. I've had way too much fun to only do it once. So please, if you want to add some more suggestions, um, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm going to add them on. Hopefully I don't miss out a lot of comments again um, or leave them off or delete them or whatever I did to not have them on the wheel. Um, I'm going to try my best to add everyone's suggestions on for the next time. But it was so much fun. Fun. Now, if you guys watched last week, you would have known that the suggestion that got picked by the Wheel of Fortune was the Toy Soldier. Something I'd never made before. Well, most of the things actually on the Wheel of Fortune I've never made before, which was fantastic. But anyway, so I got the Toy Soldier. That was the one that was selected. And the lovely lady who uh, submitted that suggestion, she also sent me an email afterwards to show me some Christmas ornaments that she had in mind that she um, are planning to make uh, for her Christmas tree. And one of them was a very cute pattern that included, um, I think uh, um, it was from the Nutcracker. So it included a Nutcracker, uh, a toy soldier or the tin soldier and uh, the mouse king. So I will pop a link uh, in the description. I'll also name the pattern that I use because obviously as soon as I press record on my phone, I cannot remember <laughs> most of the patterns that I use. So I will always put it on the screen and link it down below for you guys. But the first one I made, and yes, I made more than one toy soldier because the first one was so quick and easy to make. And it is this little guy. Now I'm sure if you have scrolled Pinterest at all looking for Christmas ornament crochet ideas, these guys would have popped up. So for this one, I just added a little tag or a little piece of ribbon to the top to be able to hang him onto the Christmas tree. And he's just this straight little pencil shaped figure almost of a little soldier. Very, very quick and easy to make. These things down here are little rivets or something. I don't even know what they're called that I purchased for bag making. Um, so you put them as embellishments on uh, when you sew handbags. But I've never been able to properly use them. And they were amazing for little buttons. So I think the rest of <laughs> these things I'll be using on my omigurumis for buttons. So there you go. This was the toy soldier number one. Now, of course, you know me. Um, I clearly never have enough things to keep me busy with. So because this guy took me so quick, I did make another soldier. And it is this adorable fellow. So I don't know if the color comes up. My screen looks very murky at the moment. But this is a pattern from Omu Fu Crochet. Now I have made many, many of her patterns before. She has the iconic uh, crochet woman, the iconic woman book. She's got the Zodiac Dolls book. She's got many, many adorable doll patterns in her Etsy shop. 
Um, so this one actually was a pattern pack for two patterns. You also get, got a little ballerina. So it was about that story, you know, the tin soldier that only had like half a leg and him and the ballerina fell in love, that whole thing. So in that pattern, actually, um, one of his legs are only halfway done. But because I was making him for a different purpose, I just did both legs exactly the same. So this is how he came out. Now, both of these, I used the cotton yarn that I got in the um, that little kit that I bought, apart from the skin tone color. So the, the skin tone color on both of them um, is my own rainbow cotton. Because although the kit had a small ball of like a beige color in it, it was not nearly enough to be able to do a head, um, even the small part of a head on these two. So that one I might use if maybe in the future. One of the suggestions was a gnome. And for gnomes, you only do basically a nose in some other uh, skin tone color. So I will use that hopefully in a future gnome project. So these are my two toy soldiers that I made. I think they're very, very cute. I will link the patterns for you guys down below. Now I've got a fair amount of yarn still left from uh, that kit. So both of these take very little yarn. So I've got still of every color uh, left, which I will, will be using in whatever the Wheel of Fortune pick next. So keep an eye out for that, you guys. All right. Next thing. Now I must try to remember everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, next week, the 15th of November, that is the reveal day for the book club that myself and Caroline over at For the Love of Crochet are doing with quite a few of you guys that have joined in. So this month was the second book that we did, Brit Marie was here. And on the 15th, we do the project reveal. So for every book that we read, we do a project inspired by the book, either a character, a color, something that happened, just anything that inspired us in that book we then create a crochet project from. And you guys will want to tune in next week, Tuesday, for that video. Because I did a very interesting <laughs> project that I thought I was going to love. But that I don't love. Uh, so, I will see you guys next week, Tuesday, uh, the 15th of November, <laughs> for that very interesting reveal. Then... Um, another thing that I'm doing with my friend Caroline, as well as Julie over at KS Mom Crochets, we are doing the All Fall for Christmas crochet collab again with all of you guys. So if you didn't see that video, I will uh, link it down below where we choose our favorite Christmas movie. And then we also do a crochet project inspired by that movie. So that's another thing that I'm busy with on the side, but that reveal is only on the 1st of December. <laughs> now, the last thing I want to share with you guys, as I mentioned, I clearly do not have enough to keep myself busy with. Um, I have finally uh, finished the tutorial and the pattern for the snowman jar topper. I will be posting it this week Friday at the latest. Um, and the reason it's taken me so long is because I keep faffing about with all sorts of other projects. And the next one I want to tell you guys about is one of those projects that just sort of popped up out of the blue. Again, this is with my friend Caroline at uh, For the Love of Crochet. Now, she and I actually chat quite a lot outside of YouTube, but it's often very difficult because we have a nine hour time difference from where I live in Denmark to where she lives in the US. So we don't have very many chatting times that overlap. Uh, so most of the time when it's evening on her side, uh, just before she goes to bed, it's already the following morning with me. So either on my 
on my way to work in the bus. I would quickly chat to her and it would be right before she goes to bed. It's always a bit hectic for us to sort of fit in or get a proper time to chat. Now, <laughs> I think we just get so excited to chatting about crochet that we are forever thinking up new projects that we want to do. And the next one is one of those things. So I will link Caroline's sewing video from last week, Friday, because she and I are doing, it's not really, I don't know if I would call it, it is a type of a collab. It's type of a pattern. It's a type of a tutorial. I don't actually know what you call this thing, but she is creating one part of this project that we are doing together. So I'm doing an omegurumi part for the project and I will show you what it is just now. Caroline is doing the sewing part, but both of these items are working together. So if you want to know which part or what Caroline is making, pop over to her video from last week Friday, where she will be showing what she is working on for this random collab thingy. <laughs> we've got going on uh, so this is something we will be making available for you guys very very soon um, it won't be a full tutorial um, but there will be on my part a pattern for it and tutorial parts so for instance now before I get to the final thing I will show you how this got started so we chatted about what we wanted to do so I had an idea of the item I wanted to create and the first version, now writing a pattern, you guys, is not easy. Um, it is a ton of work, which is, although I love doing it, I cannot, <laughs> I just do not have the time for it, which is so sad because this is something I would actually like to give more time to, but it really takes a lot of time. So we started this months ago already, uh, several months ago. We started chatting about this and working on this. So the first version of my part was this little bear. So I did this bear. This is done in a DK weight acrylic. So it's this cute little bear. She's got this removable um, shawlette. I don't know what you call this little shawl thingy. So she's got this removable shawl. Um, and I thought she was very cute, but she was too big. Uh, for the thing <laughs> that we had in mind. Um, and I know most people work with a thicker weight yarn. I work with fingering weight. It's a weight that not actually many people use for their Omega Rumi's. Um, more people use a DK or a worsted, a, a slightly thicker yarn. So I thought I'm going to try and do the pattern in a thicker weight yarn, but she turned out way too big. But while I was busy trying to think how best to do this little bear. I also wanted to do a second version because not everyone is obsessed with bears like I am. So I wanted to add a second animal to the pattern that you can sort of adjust. So it had the same body parts um, for the most part, but then I thought I wanted to add just a bunny version. So the same head, body, legs, arms, but on this one, you would just add little bunny ears. So this was him. And I also wanted to do a boy version. Because this little shawlet, it's very uh, sort of girly. Um, and you can do it in any color. But obviously, it's a Christmas type of a project that we're doing. So, But I wanted to do a little boy version. So my boy version will have this cute cowl that you can add. So you can either add a cowl, you can add this little shawlet. You can make both and make them removable and interchangeable but both of these were too big so as you notice this one I did in actually um, rainbow cotton 86 which is a sport weight yarn uh, size 2 it came out just slightly smaller than the DK but still way too big for the project that Caroline and I had decided we wanted to do but anyway what I wanted to tell you guys is that for the pattern, which is basically written up, um, I'm just doing the last few photos for it. So I will have, um, so the tutorial part that I would do a little video for will um, 
show you will include how to do embroidered eyes as well as putting details on safety eyes so this is something that you guys have mentioned you would like to see so although i'm not doing a full tutorial for the toy i will be adding on how to embroider different faces now these two were the ones who didn't make the cut you guys they are not the pattern that i ended up with i will show you the final pattern that is now designed to fit perfectly with Caroline's part of the pattern. And it is just a trimmed down, smaller version of this girl. So this one is quite a bit bigger. The legs are longer. It's also separate legs. Whereas this one, we had changed it to have the legs, the body and the head as one piece. So what you sew on is the arms, although the arms you can crochet in. Um, I know a lot of people choose to do it like that. I don't, I don't mind sewing on the arms, but you can absolutely crochet the arms in. Then you would only need to sew on the ears. So how I sew on ears is also something I will add to the tutorial, as well as how to add these little legs. So this is what my tutorial, so it's not going to be a full bear tutorial. It will include how to attach these legs, how to embroider the face using either safety eyes or embroidered eyes, and how to attach limbs like these ears. So this is the final version of the bear that I've designed to go with Caroline's part of our little Christmas collab thingy. Um, of course, you can do her design separately. You can do my design separately. They don't have to be made together, but they are designed to fit together. So my sizing fits exactly with the sizing of her item. But this one is made with fingering weight yarn. So this bee works out to, I don't even know if it's 12 or 15 centimeters it's not it's not a big bear at all i'll put the measurements um i think somewhere in the pattern this shawl again will be removable and i will include in the pattern if you'd rather want to do a little scarf for your bear and i will also include the bunny ears if you want to do a bunny instead of a little bear so that is what Caroline and I, apart from all of the other things that we keep ourselves busy with, this is the other thing we've been faffing about for months now. So I think you guys will enjoy it. It's a very cute pattern. Now you can make this one in whatever yarn you like. Um, as I said, it doesn't have to work together with Caroline's uh, pattern. You can also just adjust her pattern. Uh, to make your little bear uh, work with it if you decide to use a thicker yarn. So this one um, I did design with my usual Rainbow Cotton 8.4, a fingering or a weight 1 yarn, uh, so that it is smaller. But the pattern will work with whatever yarn you prefer. So hopefully within the next two weeks, well, I'm hoping definitely before the end of November, this pattern will be available and I will tell you how far I am. I'm doing the photos. <laughs> so the complete pattern is written up, but I want to add photos for you guys. So this is now the version I'm doing to add photos and where I do the little videos for the tutorial. So I've done the video for the legs so far, how to attach the legs. Uh, so this is my photo B. So this is why he's only this far, because up to here is where I've taken the photos for the bat. All right, you guys, that is it. Can you believe it? So a few things that's happening behind the scenes, a few things that's coming up that's very interesting. Um, so just keep a lookout for all the craziness that's coming up. It's going to be a hectic few months. But it's going to be amazing. Christmas is my favorite time of year. I love it. I'm sure many of you love it as well. Um, 
It's going to be fantastic. All right, you guys, that is it for today. So keep an eye out. The snowman jaw top pattern will be out by Friday. That will have a tutorial as well as a written pattern, uh, which will be on the blog. But I will put a post out to let you guys know. Um, and then I'll let you know about this one that Caroline, uh, Caroline and I are doing. Tuesday's video about a book review that surprised me. Not the reading of the book, The Brit Marie was here, that book. I absolutely loved, but the Omigurumi book that I made my project from. Oh, very interesting. You guys, you will not want to miss that one. All right, that's it. I've spoken for a very, very long time, but it's always fun chatting to all of you. I look forward to reading your comments. Let me know what Christmas projects you are busy with. Um, any interesting patterns, let me know. I'm always on the lookout for new and exciting projects. Because you guys, I don't have enough to keep myself busy with. Clearly, with all of the projects and working full time, obviously there's five or ten minutes here and there that are not filled up yet. And I want to fill them with crochet projects. All right, friends, that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely day. Stay creative and stay safe. I'll talk to you guys soon.